Hey Libra, welcome to your February 2019. Who's my future partner reading? This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back everybody. So nice to see you. Hope you had a wonderful January and a great start to the new year. If you're new to my channel today and this is your first time here, would love you to subscribe and become a part of my community here on YouTube. I focus on my tribe, you guys first and foremost, when bringing forth the messages that come through for the month. So not every reading is going to resonate with everybody. So I always try to put this out that you need to check out your moon and a rising sign. If you're not sure what those are in my description box below, I do have a link that will take you to a website where you can get that information. I'm running a Valentine special. That information's in the eye in the sky. If you're looking to go deeper, if you want a personal reading, that information is there. As well as I have restocked, full of messages today. Oh my goodness, or this month. I have restocked my bracelets. I do make these. These are chakra healing bracelets infused with Reiki. Um, I was sold out for a while, but they're back in stock. I've I made quite a few. So I will, yeah, I'll put an eye in the sky to these as well. So you can... Click over if you want real quick and take a look um, if you're interested. Whew. Okay, Libra, with that being said, let's jump in. You received Go to the Sea. I love this card. This is all about going with the flow. Um, just, yeah, you know, kicking back and connecting with that synchronicity. Okay, so... It's from Cliff Baron Reads, Wisdom of the Oracle. Forgot to mention that, but anyway, um, this little fairy, she doesn't look very happy, but what she's doing, she's just kind of in a meditative state, and the, uni the consciousness is, and the universe is kind of blessing her with this energy of feeling connected, but going with the flow, with the sea, taking life a day at a time. Let's see what... Uh, the tarot is going to bring in very interesting. And then you received, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Gorgeous. These are the Dorian Virtue Angel Therapy cards. I love this card. It's so cool. Okay, and then you received Antelope Spirit from Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom, I'm sorry, the um, Sacred Animal Cards. Life is speeding up. So you're being asked to take action, and rather quickly for the month of February. Life is speeding up. So let's see what the tarot's bringing in. Really excited for you. Ooh. Um... Big Virgo got the Wheel of Fortune, not as their overall, but um, I was seeing temperance quite a bit too with a lot of the spreads, but okay, let me just take a look here. Wow, you have soulmate energy coming in this month. How exciting. Um, soulmate, for sure. This could be somebody you've known in a prior life. Um, could be somebody returning, but I don't think so. This is more about this person being a soulmate, but maybe you don't recognize that right away because you got the page of coins. So your first impression of them is like a business partner. Like there's no romance. Maybe this is somebody that you work with or you decide to do a side hustle with, or you meet somebody to, you know, spark your creative endeavors, entrepreneurial endeavors, maybe even going to school in that kind of way. It's not somebody initially that you see as a soulmate. In the end, uh, this person's going to be making you very, very happy. So keep your eyes open. That's why you have, you are profoundly clairvoyant and to go with the flow because don't shut this person out. If they come on to you in a way like you're like, what? No way. You know, maybe they're not your type or just be open because you're going to see. You're going to get really connected here by going with the flow. 
and looking inside your heart and connecting to that great intuition of yours um, to really see this as, as an opportunity to get a commitment in a relationship. And it's faded, by the way. You get the Wheel of Fortune as your overall energy. It's ruled by Jupiter, so this could be a Sag or a Pisces. Some Earth energy here, too. So don't get caught up too much on the sun sign. It could be their rising and their and or moon or and or their Venus. And it feels a little bit more watery to me than Earth. Although, no, I definitely feel this person's really going to open your heart and spark this, this type of um, love that maybe you've always wished for and it just never came true. There's a lot of emotional abundance to be had here in the end. So moving into March, you're going to find yourself being very happy, getting exactly more of what you want, feeling fulfilled in a relationship, being really connected spiritually too. You know, you have the high priestess here. Um, so not only do I feel this relationship is faded, I really feel that, you know, with that she has something to do with this, this maybe you've asked for this person all along, you know, maybe you've prayed about it. The high priestess is like the empress on the other side. She's high ranking, but she's in the spirit world. She's not walking on the earth, right? So it's our angels. It's our spirit guides. It's the people that are helping on the other side to get us to move forward. So that's why you have to be very observant, right? Um, connect to your own higher self through this clairvoyant gift that you have to open your mind to the possibility that this is a faded relationship and you're just not seeing it right away, you know? Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because she... She will come to you in your sleep and help you to open, you know, to, to, to receive the message, right, through dream interpretation. Or you could have some aha moments this month and get flashes of insight. So really pay attention and try to go with the flow and stay as grounded as you can within your own energy, okay, with your own knowingness. Soulmate really amazing Libra and it's going to happen quickly check this out eight of wands it's going to be unexpected it's like this person's going to waltz into your life so don't hold back go full steam ahead that's what this this antelope spirit this energy is all about wow this is the green light to finally move forward in your life go full steam ahead moving quickly uh, forward in your decisions, right? To, yeah, not only within your energy and your own movement of the situation, but, you know, coming from this place where, you know, you, you got it together, that, that it's the synchronicity is there. It's like, boom, 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 person comes in, you're not sure, but then all of a sudden you're, you know, it's all kind of coming together here. You definitely need to check out the Virgo reading. For some of you, this could be somebody coming back around again. And it is fated that you two are to be a couple. And maybe this is why you're taken off guard and you're not sure. Because um, this, this is quickly coming in for you. And the eight of, uh, eight of coins, what kind of relationship will this be? And this is rebuilding. This is mastering new skills and coming up with new solutions about having this dream, this relationship, and setting goals for yourself. Like, you know, how can we do things differently? Or how can I do things differently to make this relationship work? Being the right partner. Um, maybe even self-development, you know, and really looking at your role because this is quite beautiful. And it's almost as if I feel like both of you are willing to put in the effort here and kind of start anew like this, having this a beginner's mind about a clean slate, moving forward, getting to know each other, going deeper within 
the relationship and finding new ways to make it work. So this will could be somebody coming back again. However, for those, some of you, I do feel this is somebody just coming in that's brand new, okay, that it's really going to take you off guard and be a little bit unexpected because you thought they were a business partner or maybe there's been a proposition to begin an initial stage of a project, um, doing a side hustle, turning a hobby into a business, okay? So this, this is really cool. This is your first impression of them. Page of Pentacles. And it, it, it is a... Yeah, it does indicate it's, it's more financially based. It's not like romantic energy. Um, but it's still, it's, it's all about growth and expansion. And you have two eights here. And eights are karma, power, authority, strength. Mm. Eight, eight. You have the eight of wands and the eight of coins. So this tells me it's faded as well. There's this karmic meant to be connection with this person. It's quite beautiful. Now, as far as your head, being in your own headspace, you have the Ten of Swords. So, you know, just be be really careful because this is the end of a diff difficult cycle. Um, maybe for some of you, this somebody coming back, there was betrayal in the past, okay? Um, maybe there's betrayal, you know, through this opportunity here. And you just need to kind of, you know, mend your heart, right? And... Uh, and the old ways that you used to do things or how you um, dealt with relationships. Does that make sense? So time to heal, time to recover. Take these swords. Like the worst is already over. So maybe you're feeling, I wouldn't say sorry for yourself, but it, it's time to just, you know, turn this 10 into a 1 and start anew. Stand up because you're, you're already slayed here, baby, you know? So all you really need to do, it's either you lay here forever or you stand yourself up and pull these knives out and move forward with your life. So you are stuck here a little bit um, as far as making this decision to move forward. But once you do, hmm, nine of cups, this is your ultimate wish card coming true. Emotional abundance, you know, feeling very happy. Mm-hmm. Feeling emotionally fulfilled. So this is really quite promising, quite beautiful. And if you've been hurt in the past and it's not in relation to this person, this is soulmate energy. So don't pass up an opportunity here because she's not what you think she, or what she physically, what you want or what he what you think he or your mindset of what you think the person should be. Be very open-minded here and connect inside and you will get the answers that you need. Okay, I'm going to pull you a couple of romance angel cards because we only have 13 minutes and I do try to at least do a 20-minute reading for you guys. Um, I didn't do romance angels for everybody. It depended on the, um, the actual reading itself. So... Let's see if we can get a little bit more insight here. The High Priestess. Now, this could be a Cancer person as well, maybe. That's influencing you here, but I really feel it's this spiritual connection. Um... And maybe that's what it is. Like, you feel very connected to this person, but you just don't know where you stand for the month of February. Does that make sense? So this is just a little heads up. Um, if you resonate with this situation, you can always come back and listen to the reading again. Um, if it doesn't make sense for you, you guys can always check out your moon or rising sign. Did I say that already? I may have. I hope, apologize if I'm repeating myself. But all right, let me focus here a minute. Okay, what are the additional love messages for Libra? Bringing us a little bit more insight. All 
also what I'm getting here because it's next to the high priest is you're going to get the flashes of insight. You're going to get it. You're going to be like, damn, you know, things are going to go click, click. And you're going to know exactly where you stand with this person. It's almost as if you're going to have an epiphany moment. You'll have a dream or um, something will come through maybe in meditation and you'll receive that clarity, right? To know that this is the real deal, okay? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? So being open about how you feel, honestly discuss your feelings with one another, express your love. I love that, very nice. Getting to know each other. As you re reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Mm -hmm. So I definitely feel this is uh, definitely a new relationship. Getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if it's like, uh, it's not somebody you'd ever consider as a romantic partner, but they are. And I feel this is even past life past life a uh, soulmate energy is just beautiful it's faded meant to be beautiful energy with the wheel of fortune as your overall energy um being on the right path beginning a new cycle um doors are now opening abundance and and prosperity before you mm-hmm divine timing, take action now, take action now. Yeah, this is another card. The wheel is turning in your favor here. And that's the thing, you know, the wheel of fortune is always about a timing thing, right? It's always, okay, well, it's your time, baby, you know? And a lot of times we ask ourselves that, like, shit, when is it going to be my turn? <laughs> it's coming. It's coming, Libra. So hold on to your hat because it's really quite beautiful. So Listen, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this made sense for, to you. Um, make sure you guys uh, comment and share the videos. Um, I love, you know, getting the feedback. Tell me what you liked, okay? Share it with your friends. Check out my Pick a Card series. I'll be rolling out a new one probably in the middle of next week. And I do my weeklies too, which do include a little astrology update as well. They're general overall uh, tarot readings, but I do like to incorporate what's going on in the universe as far as the planets and the astrological alignment. So um, God bless you. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for uh, being awesome. And yeah, I'm part of my community here on YouTube. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.